Right, so not too long ago, I made a video on why we don't use dual discs in actual Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and stuff, and then that video spawned, well, why can't we make our own dual disc for something like Yu-Gi-Oh Dual Links? So you have like a thing strapped on. And I created this thing. It was in early prototype development stages, so I thought it was a bit of fun. Whilst we was doing that video as well, I was talking about how you could have like an iPad or something strapped to your wrist. However, the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch, has just come out. And I thought... So, this is how you play Yu-Gi-Oh on the Switch. You can either play it like this, beep, boop, 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 or you take the sides off, or you can put it on your big TV. You can play it however you want, but that doesn't replicate dueling. However, all we need to do is take off the sides, because what's beautiful about this is it has a touch screen. Now, ready? The next thing you need to do is create this bad boy right here. <laughs> so, this is my Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelists Nintendo Switch Duel Disc. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, they had one of these bad boys, so we know it's possible. And this is almost identical to the one in that, so this is what you do. You go, alright then, it's time to duel. You slot in, and you're ready to duel. You've got your dual disc ready, and look how beautiful this is. And just for reference as well, mine's early beta, so it slides out. So to solve that, we have to put a little pin in the end to stop it sliding out. But uh, don't judge me, it's uh, early development. Leave me alone. So this is my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution dual disc thing. Which luckily you can keep pressing. So the beauty of this, one, it's for fun. It's not meant to be taken too seriously. But there's a few different ways you can play it. Because it's a touchscreen game, which I'm very glad that they did. Uh, you can actually go onto duels, for example, Harpy Lady. So it's perfect. Uh, I would love for this to be like online and you're facing your opponent. And you're dueling like this. So you could just be like, I activate this beautiful card here. Pot of Greed! I play it here. Oh, I love it. I normal summon Axe Raider in attack position. <laughs> but just imagine that. Imagine you're a real person now. I've got my dual disc and we're dueling like this. I imagine it probably will get heavy and there'll be a lot of problems that will happen. My arm's getting a little bit tired like this just now. But there are ways, um, I'll be honest with you, like this isn't the best way. But if you put it at a slight angle, a bit more like that. We've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a bit more room. This is like a little iPad thing at the moment. So this is kind of cool. Or you could probably put it underneath if you wanted to do all the, the pad like that. A bit like that. That's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah. I just thought, you know what? Let's make a makeshift dual disc. Because I tell you something, though. Nintendo do have the Labo kits, which is, in my opinion, overpriced cardboard that you can turn into different things. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Disc Nintendo Labo. Probably going to cost you like 80 quid or something daft like that. This cost me uh, just an Amazon box that I've just used loads of sellotape on. And I think this is like a leg brace thing. You know, when you've like hurt your knee. But uh, yeah, it's my move. I draw. Beautiful. I drew the time wizard. Next, I summon him to the field and activate his special ability. Go. Time roulette. I choose heads. Perfect. Now go, my time wizard. Attack him. Directly. <laughs> But yeah, I thought I'll just quickly show this off. If you wanted to do it too, then it's very easy to make. All you need is a piece of cardboard that you just sort of sellotape together and then you put a hole in the middle. I also put a little air vent here because, you know, Nintendo switches need to breathe. The only problem with this design is I can't press all the buttons if I want to turn the volume up and down. So, a little bit of an issue, I must admit. But what I like about this as well is the fact that you can control everything with the controller as well. So you could play with these, but yeah. Guys, this was my Nintendo Switch Dual Disc. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call it. Nintendo Switch Dual Disc. I feel like it can be done. I feel like this is a very easy thing you could make. Just so you feel like you're actually playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Just for fun. Nintendo Labo exists. They could totally collab Konami and Nintendo together uh, for a bit of fun. I'm so glad it's touchscreen because there are some games that they don't bother putting touchscreen for. Oh, hang on. How do you change your phases? Oh, you can change your phases in the middle. That's okay then. So, end phase. But that's beautiful. This is exactly what I feel like would push this game over the edge. Imagine this. This is my dream, wasn't it? I was like, we want dual discs at uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists. Link Evolution tournaments. We can finally have our dual discs. Because you can play on the Nintendo Switch. You have to have the Nintendo Switch. It's perfect. And just make a mini version of this. For dual links, but the only problem with dual links is it's at a different angle, so you need to switch this. And if you could customize this to switch like that, I don't know. So many ideas, so many opportunities. Guys, let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. 
I made this just for fun. Uh, I'm not 100% serious with saying that you could play like this. I mean, you can. I could play like this for sure. I could definitely duel someone standing up. But uh, this was just for fun. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. What did you think of my design? Here is just a little bit of a closer look at the design I've gone for. We've got like sellotape going underneath this thing. So yeah, it's not like the best thing ever made. I kind of made this in like, I think the space of like 10 minutes. So don't judge me too much. But I think I did a right job of it for my like first take. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Let me know if you could make a better one. I had some people sending me some designs for like a dual disc one with the phone. So if you wanna make one for this, that would be awesome. But guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, but other than that, uh, I hope you're all enjoying Legacy of the Duelist. See you later. Bye everyone.